The loss of GCI in the middle of a large air battle proved somewhat detrimental to Red Air. The Eglin Eagle Bros showed no quarter as they cut through the FIBA, downing any flanker or fulcrum they came across. The Russian losses are so bad, our latest briefing reported that the Russians have been forced to pull MiG-23 floggers out of storage to run intercept missions over their side of the front line. This is of benefit for us today, we are hitting a target deep into enemy territory, but we will have little to no fighter escorts clearing our path. Rather, we will rely on our skill and jamming to see us through this mission, to hit a number of fuel tanks supplying the enemy force. So far, I have prided myself on not having to use Lincoln Airport for refueling, but judging by the distance for today's mission, we'll see if that might be necessary today. We were supposed to use precision dive bombing for this mission, but a low cloud base has put a dent in those plans. We can't drop bombs without knowing where they will land. Rather, we will be using the tried and true CCIP method, low and fast with little to no exposure to red air or enemy SAMs. After this mission, the exercise have scheduled a break over the weekend that will allow us to see Las Vegas up close. It'll be some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Engine startup complete. Now all we have to do is wait for the onboard computer. As you can see, we have a dense cloud coverage over the Nellis test range today. So the mission profile has been altered from precision dive bombing to using the TCIP method. Uh, we can't, it would be Highly unsafe for us to drop bombs without knowing where they would land. The calculations will begin as soon as we enter the data coverage. And target point will be number 6 for today, time on target is at 0900 hours. And the countdown has begun, all we have to do now is wait for the Eglin bros and the guys who will proceed for us today. Uh, set the pod to warm up, and then we'll go. Wheels up. That's one airborne. Notch five. Push west. Cover that. That's one pushing west. Set pod to active jamming. Erik Kalle. Alright, slow it down uh, a bit, uh, or we are gonna be early. 
being early is not going to be good as we need the other strikers to clear the air defense first. However, we do still have the... the... Uh, Alright, slow it down a wee bit, so we are not too early. We still need the other strikers to clear out the air defense before we arrive. Uh, make the... Go to fence in. Make the left hand turn now and keep tabs on the time on target. With the cloud base this low, I'm very happy that we got changed orders and went for the TCIT approach. It would have been really difficult to dive out of this cloud base and release on time. Uh, set the bombs for a tight dispersal pattern and uh, prepare for the attack right after the right hand turn in 5 kilometers. We'll have to make the final run at high speed, so it looks like we might have to be early after all, or we simply uh, make a yeah, uh, we're gonna make a left hand turn here and uh, simply use that to increase the time a little bit. So we still can keep in cover behind these ridge lines. Oh, uh, looks like that's not needed. The clock is ticking down now. Uh, move in for, to attack and increase speed to zone 2. Forty kilometers to the target, so we got plenty of time to speed up. Uh, stick with zone 1 for the time being and keep tabs on the clock. Dodge one, fence in. Colt two, running in on Diva. Dodge two, passing port side. Who's you want attacking air defenses? Lucy Flight, we are 20 kilometers out, moving in for the attack now. Increase altitude and increase spread to. Better safe than sorry. Uzi 2, attack in air defenses. I can see the target up ahead. We need to run in from the correct angle. Uh, 
Stay in zone two and break now. It's not perfect, but it'll have to do. That's one bombs away. Uzi one, SA eight, the South Air Base is down. Mission complete. Let's head for home. Let's keep your eyes open for those bloggers. Exit heading is three zero kilometers away. An adequate amount of fuel, we'll see if we can make it back to Nellis, or if we... What the hell was that? Dutch 2, running in from the south. Pontiac 1, ID, running in. No joy, no joy, I can't see if we're locked up or not. Countermeasures. Not one, fans out. Pontiac 2, IP, running in. Uzi 1, SA 8, the South Air Base is down. Dodge 2, bombs away, off the heat. All launch flights, return to base, mission complete. Cover that Nellis Control, Dodge 1 will taxi to parking area. You know, it is interesting when you enter the mission debriefing and you see everything that is going on on the big screen everyone is looking at what happened and what was going on and you realize that a lot of it was just plain hidden to you as you carried out the mission the mission for us went well enough we hit the time on target with uh, within 30 seconds so I'm happy to see that particular skill of mine is improving on the Nellis test range. 
and we also managed to get into the target area behind our protective screen of tornadoes. What we completely missed was the fact that the tornadoes in question were engaged by floggers. And uh, that an air combat situation developed around us while we dropped our bombs and promptly got out of there. But um, you'd think you'd notice it. You'd think you'd just see that, oh, there is an enemy aircraft over there. But no, the only thing I noticed was this flogger over here that was literally shot down right in front of me. But uh, aside from that, it was an uneventful mission. Everything went fine, and seeing the total mayhem that was going on around me in the post-briefing was even stranger. I mean, we were... I was... I had almost zoned out uh, listening to the F-16's report, and then I heard that apparently we had MiG-25s on us on our exit vector. But at no point, no point, did we register that they were there. And it's not even, it's not even they were far away either. They crossed our exit vector and they were about to engage. However, the Eglin bros caught wind of them and launched AMRAMs to cover our exit vector. But still... It's kind of interesting how focused on the attack run you can be and not notice anything like that.